Come share the journey, the journey of success. Tune in the first week of every month and be encouraged as Michelle Bohm, the founder and CEO of Inspired Style Company, and Reagan Ward, the founder and creative director of Leslie Tyler Design, showcase guests as they share their success stories and their challenges. Along the journey to your success, there are many great adventures and great sights, but also detours and roadblocks. You can learn from it all and achieve your goals and dreams, whatever they may be. Hello and good morning. I am Michelle Bohm and this is The Journey brought to you by I've Decided. I'm here today with my co-host, Regan. Say hello, hello Regan. Hi. <laughs> good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. And our guest, Jeannie Quick, also a friend of I've Decided, a friend of ours, and we have a lot to talk about today. But first, we are coming off a very exciting week. We oh, yes. have a lot to be thankful for, especially Regan. Tell yes, me what happened to you I this just week. got married Yay. on Thanksgiving Day, <laughs> so that was very fun, very exciting, and I'm kind of coming down off my... <laughs> my high right now so that was that was fun and then the yes. following day um leslie tyler design um celebrated the launch of our home store so we had an open house oh, at cool. our home so forgive me if i seem a little bit tired and sluggish i'm i'll be you're, back at i can't it. even <laughs> believe you're here I I, I'm, I'm operating <laughs> just on a, a few cylinders i but. actually thought uh, maybe i should call reagan yeah, sure just to remind survived. me yeah no i I'm, i am here i am here so <laughs> Well, that is a very busy week uh, for you, yeah, and yeah. I'm assuming a lot of preparation went a into lot, that. A lot, a lot. Many, many, many months of preparing and re-preparing and trying to do yeah. all of that, so I'd love to get into it with Miss Jeannie here, because she, <laughs> well, I think, is like the queen of preparation, in she, my opinion. She is, yes, and <laughs> preparation is our weekly winning word this week, so we thought, who do we need to bring on here to teach us how to prepare for our life? Besides Jeannie Quick, is, that's the first person I think of when I think yeah. of uh, planning ahead. Yes. Because you're constantly coaching me to plan ahead. <laughs> right. <laughs> Through Follow your, your goals. Uh, and, and you started a company. Uh, I would actually, I would call it more of a movement. You started a right. movement. Yeah. Um, to really start to get people to think about dreaming outside the lines. And that's what you called it, dream outside the lines. Yeah. So tell us about what inspired you to create that in the first place. Well, it's uh, kind of been about three years in the making. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then, you know, a lifetime in the making, right? <laughs> right. And I did my first vision board with another um, close friend and that. And I just felt like, this is the way that you should start everything. I mean, even kids and that, you know. But, um, you know, it starts all out with a dream. You mm -hmm. know, even when you're a kid, you dream about what you're going to be when you grow up and that. So, you know, and then once that dream ends up going out and it becomes a vision. Mm -hmm. So then it's out there and that, okay, what are you going to do with this vision yeah. and everything? So if you go ahead and you put it into a dream board, which you yes. brought yours yes. here. Yes, I love this is my vision board that I created with Jeannie uh, over a year ago, right? I yes. It's been over a year. Yeah. And you're working on next year. I'm working on my next year. Because I firmly believe you definitely need to have one every year. I mean, even maybe every six months or small little ones or whatever, but you're definitely, because that's your long term goals and that right. you want to have one major one for next year, but then each month you're going to have smaller ones that yeah. you're going to do. Yeah. But with that dream, then you put that down. And once you put it down, it's like Kim says, put that stake in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. So once you put that down, then you're going to have to have. Have goals. So then you're going to measure those goals down. And then how you do those goals is going to be your time management. So we just go through each one of those steps in the program, the mm -hmm. workshop and that, and I just keep following up with you and that because, you know, if you stop and think back where you were five years ago, yeah, I don't we discussed that. Myself, right? <laughs> and where you are right now, those five years, where you're going to be another five years yeah. mm -hmm. unless you plan for it. Yeah. You've got to plan for this next nope. year. You know, I don't care if it's pay off debt or I'm, my husband's getting close to retirement. So that's kind of my big thing right now <laughs> is pay off debt because I want to do fun things, right. you know, and everything. But 
Um, that's what you really need to do. In uh, my office, that one whole wall is nothing but dream boards. Yeah. And when you get down, because uh, you're going to have up and down days. Mm -hmm. So when you get kind of down, you know, you just sit there and you look at that and see your dreams and how they're materializing and everything. Yeah. And if you want to, um, it's really nice to put this in a frame. So as you complete one of those th dreams and everything on that glass frame, you can put done. Done oh, that. Check mark. Yeah, yeah, check mark. That's very oh, wow. satisfying. I yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> so you can feel like you've accomplished yeah. something. Yeah, absolutely. And that, so. Well, and absolutely. so it doesn't look as ratty as mine because this sits oh, on no. my this sits right above my desk where whenever I'm working I am even like subconsciously Sweet. seeing it. Getting that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Subconsciously touching that vision all the time. And to when I took the workshop, the Dream Warriors workshop. The biggest thing that I got out of it was that idea that you have to constantly touch that vision. Because I think we make goals, and goals are, are great, but the vision is that emotional attachment to the goal that actually feels good when you achieve it. It's Other, your why. It's, it's your, your big why. Why. Yeah. why are you doing this? Why are you paying off debt? Right. Why are you retiring your husband? Yes. Why are you doing any of these things? There's a reason behind it. And that's what you have to get down yes. into is what, why you're doing it. You need to put yours in a frame. You carry this around. <laughs> I, do. I don't, and so many of them. And then. You know, yes. some of these, like I said, this is last year's. Right. So there's probably a lot of these things on here that you've already done. Yeah. So put it in a frame and you have a check mark on it or a circle and done it, done it you know, or what. And the date you done it, maybe. Oh, that'd be cool. So yeah. you can do that. You can create so many things. And if you look out there, even a, a calendar or post its. That's uh -huh. a perfect example. You'll see all these post its that people have. That's a vision board. It's oh, just when yeah. they just pull that poster, poster yeah. off, then they've done it. Yeah, that, so. that's great. And to me, I've never been one to really set goals because there's not, I don't know, it doesn't excite me. Like, okay, Writing paying it down. off debt yeah. or uh, getting healthy or something like that. You know, it's like, that feels like Or you like say work. it. Well, you yeah. say it, and then but if you don't see it constantly, then yeah. it's just, and then, that sacrifice, because I'm sure that a lot of these goals require sacrifice of some yes. kind. If it's time, if it's money, if right. it's, you know, paying off debt. I'm sure there's times that you'd wish that you could just <laughs> let me go out yeah. to do this or that. And I have to remind myself. So I think the visual, those images, I think. Yeah. At least and it's that 10, 10, 10 rule where, you know, in 10, you know, minutes, it's not going to be that much, but then in the 10 weeks yeah. and then 10 months, mm -hmm. that 10 months, look how close you are to that year. Right. So each one of them are going to have a different feeling. Mm -hmm. That 10 minutes is not going to have a big feeling. Yeah, that's true. That's that. true. But also when you accomplish these things if it's a small one or big one or whatever and pick small ones because yeah. you'll exp you'll get them quicker mm -hmm. and then you'll feel like oh gosh yeah yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I paid well, off yeah. the charge card or I did three this. times this week and right then there we go I'm and immediate that, <laughs> but then some way and it doesn't have to be food but reward yourself Okay. You know, yeah. go to uh, get your nails done or, you know, yeah. have a pedicure yeah. or something like that. So you feel like there is an accomplishment at the end of that. Right, right. right. And I have to have that emotional attachment or I get distracted right. by anything and everything. Yeah. Because there isn't that like, okay, I want to get healthy. So I want to get healthy. Why? So that I can look better in a dress? Well, no, so right. that I can be there for my kids, so that I have the energy, so that I have, you right. know, that's a why. That's a yes. vision. Yeah. Yes. It, the getting healthy is just like a brick in that, that foundation. Mm -hmm. But if you're not constantly going for the vision, then right. you're just like, well, I, do, I... I don't want to get up and go right. work out right. because there isn't a reason to do it. Right. <laughs> and, but <laughs> after you work out and everything, think of how much better you feel. Oh, yeah. I mean, afterwards, sure. or it's like when you're out walking with your boys or whatever like that. Hey, I can keep up with them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where yeah. maybe mm -hmm. two months before that, you were like, oh, okay. slow down. I'm coming. I'm coming. Right. You know, yeah. so it's just and you live longer. Oh, definitely. You're a lot happier, too, along yes, the way, are. because yeah. we talk about the journey. You know, the journey is the struggle piece of it. But if you are constantly rewarding yourself and ticking those little Things goals off, yeah. off then that uh -huh. keeps you motivated. And it's and like you your plan. Need, you I need think. accountability person, too. So, yes. you know, that's, that's why I have you, Jeannie. I don't, I don't if I'm need an not there, <laughs> I got you. Yeah, if I'm not there all the right. time, you know, you need somebody. Just, yeah. well, like Kim, yes. she runs every yeah. morning. Yeah. She has somebody that calls her and says, okay, I'm let's get out here. Where are you? So you need somebody. And of course, I'm always there, you know, and that, yeah. but 
you know, get yourself somebody to yeah. kind of buy into your dream with right. you. Right. right. And it's going to hold you accountable too. That yeah. could just right. going to, you know, yeah. make you feel good. Like, we, just... we tend to talk about that a lot in our family of, you know, right. what, what it's going to, what's going to happen when we achieve this family goal. You mm -hmm. know, we're going to celebrate in this way, but more, what does that mean for the rest of our life? You know, once we've We've checked that goal. Well, also, list. too, when you did this board, you told me that you set your boys down, and yeah. they did a vision made board. Made them do a vision wow. board, too. So that is like great. That's awesome, like, end yeah. of yeah. year, you know, cookie exchange. Like, now I'm like, let me oh, invite that's... all of my friends over, and we'll make vision boards. Good, yeah. I mean, that's awesome yeah. to me, end of year, you know, because yeah. everybody talks about resolutions, and sometimes people don't buy into them, you know, like, right. oh, well, it's just, you know, another month yeah. or whatever. But I do think that there's something about the end of the year, yes. the beginning of another one that really kind of sets yourself up. So, yes, you've given me <laughs> all time. Heights you of encouragement. Her yes, you did. Your daughter might be a little young for this. She might be. She <laughs> might be for this. But at least, you know, just having, you know, that family to come together. I think yeah. it was so nice that you, you know, have family goals. Yeah. And not just yeah, you, do. not just, you know, your husband, but, you know, yeah. as a family, what are we going to do? And I think that that, you know. Mm -hmm. And then it doesn't, like, I make them make mantras and we tape them up all over the house. So it doesn't look so weird when it's just my mantras. You know, theirs right. is like, I'm going to be a YouTube sensation. <laughs> Okay. okay. <laughs> right, right. But then, good. yeah, yeah, it reminds them, what are you going to do today yes. to help you get to that goal? Yeah. So yeah. I think it's it just thing. makes it more contagious. It is. it is. It's absolutely contagious. And it does, like, to me, it's a fun craft project, but it's also like a nice reflective time at this mm -hmm. time of the year. That is what I, I'm always excited for a new year, but mm -hmm. I enjoy looking back over the year, being yeah. able to check those things off my vision board, and then planning for the next year, which that was the second piece of the workshop. Mm -hmm. that you taught us yeah. um you know it's not just about having a great vision you have to be able to get there yes. and how are you going to get there you know you're going to set your goals okay now you've got your goals what is your action plan going to be um what is uh, and, and i know time management is extremely important in that right and you've given me so many time management tips because that's what I struggle with. I don't no, know I'm, about you, Reagan. Like Time a notorious procrastinator, like, yes. Yes, like, yes. If I have a 24 hour day left, yes. I can do it. Right? I can make that happen. Right. Well, I, got two I can hours build Rome. Yeah, yes. sure. Yeah, it should only take 24 hours. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So time management, I, ve I very much struggle with that. And that was um, the second half of the workshop that we did. You really talked to us about planning your day and the little tips and tricks that you can do to you know, take control to prepare for your day so that you are, you're ready to reach those goals. What are, can you share with our viewers some of the special things that you taught us about? Well, one of the things is um, I like to have that quiet time in the morning mm -hmm. and uh, I call my time, you know, breakfast with Jesus. So, I mean, I just <laughs> lay out there kind of like what's going on in my day and kind of itemize it. Um, but the night before, I kind of prepare for that next day, you know, just like on Sunday, I prepare for the whole week and uh -huh. what's the most important, you know, to you. And then you start chewing them off one at a time and that. And so at the end of the week, you can see your achievements yeah, and yeah. that. But, you know, this you have to stay focused. And of course, your things that are your must to things, you want to do them when you have the most energy. Mm -hmm. So most of us, you know, seem more energetic, you know, early earlier in the morning. So mm -hmm. after my hour or so, you know, with Breakfast with Jesus, then I start tackling those things that need to be done. There's a book yeah. that's Eat the Frog. Oh, yeah, I love that book. Yes. <laughs> so anyway. Which, uh, if you haven't read the book, we probably, because Eat the Frog <laughs> eat sounds like the Frog, like, like, like what? <laughs> like, yes. So Eat the Frog means if you woke up every morning and you had to eat a frog at some point during the day, don't care when you do it, the smart person will eat the frog right the first thing they do when they get up so that they don't have to sit there and think about, worry about eating the frog, eating that frog <laughs> eating all day, right? Yeah. You just so, hold yes. your nose and you eat and that you frog. And then, and, you, and then you don't have so. to do it again until the next morning. Right. right. So you go ahead and you do those things that have to be done. And then you tackle the next ones. Now, um, in this last time that we were together, I added, you know, where you had three favorite colors. Yes. And mm -hmm. you have your life's interruption list and that. So you write down everything that is, is going to, um, keep you from your goals mm -hmm. and that or even achieve you to get to your goals and that so anyway and let's say okay my three colors are uh, green purple and orange okay. okay and green of course being a realtor so th that's green money, money. Yeah. Yes, yes so anyway those things you know so the you context put your income producing tasks 
Yes. There, which yeah. makes makes my sense. green. Yes. So that's going to be the number one things. My eat my frog things. Okay. You know, and then my next ones are going to be purple. So then that's the next ones, and then the that sh you know you should do, and then that you want to do. It's your okay. wants. That's going to be at the end. So sometimes maybe not all of my wants get done in that day, but sure. hopefully by the end of the week or whatever. And and then again. As you do these things, you can even put in that reward, you know, How go to, lunch, with this? Go to yeah. lunch with your boys or yeah. pick them up for school or take them lunch to school yeah. or some little thing, you know, so which makes it kind of nicer for your lunch, uh, your life. Also go on to lunch with your husband yeah. or something. Yeah, that's you know. always nice. So, yeah. but, you know, you have to plan that. That's time management and everything to get back to all of your goals. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I, I find that when you do hit those goals and you've like, oh, you've, yeah. you've looked at them along the way, it's so much, it's so much more fun. I, yeah. I can remember a personal experience. I had worked on a major financial achievement goal um, and it was getting a promotion in my, my company. Mm -hmm. Worked on this for five years. And I, I would like come back and forth to it, usually around the first of the year when I was like planning my goals, like I'm going to hit that, I'm going to hit that, I'm going to hit that. Then I actually hit it. And I remember afterwards, I was like, oh, I thought it would be better. Huh. You know, I thought, it, I thought it would feel different. And it was, it was because I didn't attach an emotion to it. Like, when I achieve this, it's going to make me, it's going to change this in my life. Like, it's right. going to give me more time with my family. Or the financial abundance is going to mean that we can do X, Y, and Z. I didn't attach those two things. So I missed that piece. And then I achieved this big goal, and I, it's like, yeah, yeah. Like, hmm. it kind of falls yeah. flat. Yeah. Of everything that's on this board for last year, what do you feel was your biggest accomplishment that you've done? Um, I can tell you what yeah, I think it well, is. Well, the getting crystal, I, I have crystal clear on here a lot because I wasn't clear on the vision. Mm -hmm. So, um, and even after the class, like my mind just kept rolling that clarity, clarity. You need clarity on what you're searching for. So I have a lot of things of like, find your direction, make up your mind. You have to name it to claim it. What to who? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you got to pick a horse and ride it because I, have to, I'm like, <laughs> I want all the horses. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, so I definitely did that in the last year. I got a lot more clear on what I was looking for. But the biggest thing I accomplished, and when I made this vision board a year ago, there is no way that this was going to be possible. But I retired my husband three months later. Wow. And that is that a was her goal biggest. that wow. I had been working on since I was 20. And wow. it didn't happen at all the way we thought it would. Yeah. You know, it, it ended exactly. up being something that we had to do right now when I said, I want to retire him by the time he's 40. And I had been saying that since I was 20. Uh-huh. And we retired him at 38 and a half. So but it you, was like, but that was focused. on here. I put you it on focused here. on what you've yeah. been. And in three so. months. It, three months. Wow. Like, Things moved out of the way, yeah. and everything happened the way it was, and now he's there. Yeah. But when I made this board, there's, that was not even something that I, no. like, I still thought that was going to be yeah. years down the road. Like well, Reagan, you just getting married yeah. and everything. Yeah. Uh, what is one big goal you want to do this next year? Oh, this next year. I just feel like this one. year has been so full, so much. Um, well, I... And I don't want to mean piggyback, no. but um, we we have a logistics business that we've yes. been running, and the design business is more of our love. Um, the logistics was kind of built out of necessity, right. so that has always been something that we've talked about since I I stopped working on the logistics side about two two and a half years ago when I got pregnant with my daughter. So for him to get off of that, that would be excellent. Yeah. So I mean, if that happened in the next year, that would be amazing. Get but a poster board. Quick, I, I know. There. I'm like I'm gonna go home right now. <laughs> And start, but no, I no, mean you're going to do my workshop. Yeah, there yes, you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. But tell us when is your next workshop? Yes. Um, I really don't have a date right now because um, I was kind of concentrating on our reset retreat yes. recharge, yeah, and which that's is only for existing people that dream have gone warriors. The workshop. Once you mm -hmm. take the dream outside the line, the workshop, and everything, then you become a dream warrior. So you're in a oh. private Facebook page, okay. you know, where we can kind of talk back and forth and everything. Because a lot of times, what plays in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yes. Uh -huh. So yeah, there's little things that, you know, we yeah. get emotional or whatever. And so you have I to bet. have that clarity. But, um, and hopefully that is going to be the 10th if everything work out. It's a Friday evening and that. So it's kind of a plus thing. But yeah. I kind of thought I would uh, kind of 
jump out there and do another one maybe right. before that and everything. You'll just have to go to Dream Outside the Line Dream Facebook the page and yeah. look for it. Okay. It'll yeah. be out there. Yeah. Yeah. And well, you, we are, hope. you are always willing to help anyone that's, you know, looking to do something like that that just needs some clarity. Right. And then the action steps. And so even if there isn't a workshop right now, you are always willing to. to, yeah. to, yeah. to if great, somebody, great. you know, cannot get into that one or whatever, I will do personal ones. But they have to remember it is going to be a four hour course. It's yeah, it, two it, it, hours, one week. Okay. And then you have to go home, do homework, digest and everything. And then you come back the yeah. next week. This You've isn't something have you, it. I know it looks like I just slapped pictures on a poster <laughs> no, board. But no, 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 no. This is <laughs> that's the easy part. Just <laughs> slap them on there. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. the, it's the thinking. Uh, getting thinking. you know yeah. getting clarity that it takes yeah. a little bit of work so even though this looks like a toddler did it yeah uh, no. it, it, it does was not. a lot no, of no it does not it does that. not it does not <laughs> and at some all. of these you know like even I don't want you to do this but yes. um, sometimes you have a lot of white space which yours is red but you have room to put another little thing on there yeah. or something yeah. to add to it so I've seen some of those Just that going on top there of might it. only be six or seven little things that I'm thinking. That's all you have on there, but you can constantly keep putting stuff Adding on there. It. Well, because your yeah. vision is something that doesn't change throughout. And the, it's I mean, the it, journey, it should right? change throughout the journey. <laughs> it is a yeah. journey. It yes, is. Yeah. It, it is. is a journey. It is. So, yeah. speaking of the journey, we're out of time on our journey today. <laughs> it always goes so wow, it so does. fast, doesn't it? <laughs> Look up. Um, so, Reagan. I hope that you get some re relaxation oh, yes. Thank before you. our next show. <laughs> Thank but you. otherwise, Thank you. Uh, we will definitely see you coming back here in yes. uh, January, first Tuesday in January. Absolutely. Jeannie, it's always a pleasure to have you whenever. Great you to know, be here. Yes. She's always the person I call when I'm not sure what I should be doing today. I call Jeannie, my no, accountability no. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and we will be looking so. for that. Uh, Workshop. Workshop, yes. January. Yeah. I'm going to try to nudge her into yeah. doing yeah. that. I'm like, December yeah. or January, either one. Yes. We'll be ready for you. Okay. So follow Jeannie on Dream Outside the Lines on Facebook and find out more about the I've Decided community. We are always looking for more people to join this movement, get excited about preparing for the new success that you plan to have in 2020. Uh, again, I'm Michelle Bohm. And I'm Reagan Leslie. And we are so happy to be here with you today. Thank you and have a great day.